good morning students welcome back to my channel so we were discussing about the board plot problems today i have taken another problem from the board plot let's try to explain it let's try to solve it okay so sketch the board plot for the transfer function g of s is equal to k into s square upon 1 plus 0 0.2 into s 1 plus 0 0.02 s okay so in this problem uh, there is a two there are two poles at sorry two zeros at origin okay and no simple zero complex zero only two zeros at origin are here and one plus two uh, 0.2 s is the simple pole one plus 0.02 s is again a simple pole over here okay so determine the value of k for the given crossover frequency to be five radians uh, per second so gain crossover frequency is given uh, it should be five radians per second so that you can calculate the value of k okay so solution if we check here first of all you have to make the standard form but it is already in the standard form so you can write down obtain standard time constant form g of s k into s square 1 plus 0 0.2 s as it is keep the uh, given function as it is as it is already in the standard form okay no need to uh, convert it so step 2 is discussion of factors so first of all k is unknown so k is unknown s square these are zero two zeros at origin so uh, you know already from the chart itself uh, which i have explained in the first video itself so you have to remember again and again i am telling you you have to remember this chart so that you can get the magnitude values okay first of all check it this is zero at origin if it is uh, sorry yes uh, if it is zero at origin s raised power 2 so you have to take 20 into 2 if it is s raised power 1 20 into 1 like that but in this problem i am getting s square means uh, s square it is so 20 into 2 is 40 you will get so uh, check here straight line with slope 20 into 2 is 40 so positive 40 decibels per decade with uh, which intersect zero decibel line at one radian per second you have to remember this condition always the slope lines uh, meet at zero decibel line at one radian per second in previous video i have explained this in the board plot graph itself okay next is uh, one upon one plus zero two as this term one upon one plus zero point two s term we have to discuss now so it is a simple pole you know already for the simple pole uh, the slope line you already know from the chart so first of all this is t over here one plus t s so t is zero point two okay already you know omega is a, a reciprocal of the time so one upon zero point two is five radians per second next so it is slope uh, straight line of minus 20 decibels for simple pole magnitude is minus 20 decibels per decade you can also see here so this is your simple simple pole 1 divided by 1 plus tas minus 20 is the magnitude for it okay so uh, minus 20 decibels per decade at omega already calculated here so it should be greater or equal to 5 radians per second so next term is this one 1 divided by 1 plus 0 0.02 s we have to discuss this term now see here 1 upon 1 plus 0 0.02 s is simple pole again so t is 0 0.02 omega c is 1 upon t t value is 0 0.02 you will get 50 radians per second straight line with slope it is a simple pole so its magnitude is minus 20 from the chart uh, 20 decibels per decade at omega c is greater or equal to 50 radians per second see here omega you are getting 50 now you have to make whatever the uh, factors you have discussed it above you have to make resultant slope table so first column is factors frequency range result and slope so for k always there is a blank line it doesn't have some frequency range or slope so k you have to remain as it is next is s square that is two zeros at origin what is the range for that see here this is s square so uh, you should always remember omega starts from zero zero radians okay for omega always starts from zero radians per second okay and next one is five radians so between zero and five will be the range of frequency from first for first uh, that is uh, zeros at origin so see here omega c is greater or equal to zero less or equal to five it is the range for it and also slope is 40 for the uh, this uh, two zeros at origin fine i hope you are getting next term is this one uh, sorry which we have discussed here one divided by one plus 0 0.2 s which i can write one plus 0 0.2 s inverse one plus 0 0.02 s inverse so it is ranges from this one 5 radians per second and next term is 50 radians so omega c is greater or equal to 5 less less or equal to 50 right next is its slope will be 
this positive 40 you have to bring here positive 40 and what is the current slope of this uh, particular simple pole that is minus 20 you can write plus 40 minus 20 is positive 20 next one is 1 plus 0 0.02 s uh, raised power minus 1 that is inverse so its range will be from 50 and always you should remember omega and us with end is at infinity if there is no any other term you have to end the uh, omega at infinity that is omega c is less or equal to 50 less or equal to infinity this is the frequency range and its slope will be this positive to 20 you should bring here and the current slope of this simple uh, uh, simple pole is minus 20 positive 20 minus 20 is equal to 0 so this is your magnitude uh, plot. for the magnitude plot this is the chart which we require in the graph itself next is step third phase angle so g of j omega is equal to k into j omega j omega means you have to take uh, the given function given function is this one s square upon 1 plus 0 0.2 s okay you have to replace s with j omega so this is g of s g of j omega i am replacing s by j omega which is equal to k into <coughs> s square means s means j omega again next s is j omega actually it is s square okay i can write s square as s into s so s into s when i am writing so you can write down j omega into j omega okay then 1 plus 0.2 j omega 1 plus 0.02 j omega this is the given function only thing is that i am changing changing the sorry i am replacing the s with j omega over here so phi angle you will get 180 degree by calculating this in the kelsey part i have shown you but i will show you one calculation over here so that you will get clear picture so this is j omega you should be in the complex mode second complex mode okay so two you can put put it over here so j omega means it is the real number okay sorry it is the imaginary number but real number is not present in this case so you can write down zero plus j omega means omega i don't know you, you can take any value of omega okay one two three whatever you will take you will get the angle over there suppose i am taking zero plus two omega omega means sorry this is j j you have to take edge button then options then one you can take which is equal to see here this is two is magnitude less or equal to 90 sorry this is the angle that is two angle 90 this is the angle you are getting over here so for one so for one j omega you are getting 90 then another j omega you will get another 90 so 90 plus 90 will be 180 like that you have to calculate it S same you can calculate the denominator terms then you should uh, uh, what we call bring this, uh, those denominator terms into the numerator part okay so that is the calculation of the phase angle phi is equal to this term okay then after you will get uh, omega and phi respectively you have to take values from 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.5 so that uh, we can plot the phase angle uh, in the graph itself okay that is why we are taking these values 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.5 it is according to your choice how much value how many values you are taking in this box over here so when you take 0 0.1 omega value you have to put uh, that omega value in this equation also here so that you will get phi value okay then put 0 0.2 accordingly 0 0.2 you will get phi angle respectively which i have calculated here 179 177 177 like that you have to calculate it okay this is all about the phase angle plot so now we have to draw the board plot in the graph okay so see here now first of all mark the phase angle in degrees and magnitude in decibels okay so already we get uh, we got magnitude from i think 60 or 40 oh yes 40 40 20 and 0 we are getting so take i am taking here simply from 60 40 20 0 and minus 20 minus 40 okay so as we know already in this problem that there are positive slopes and previous problems we were getting the negative slope that is why we were uh, drawing that in that particular fashion this one okay but in this case we have to draw like this these are the positive slopes already explained in the first chapter itself what are the positive slopes and what are the negative slopes okay so next is the phase i am taking from positive 180 150 120 90 60 30 just because i have different varieties of uh, angles in this case then accordingly i will draw first of all i will draw the magnitude plot okay so magnitude plot for magnitude plot you have to check this chart what is the 40 slope 
uh, what is the frequency range from 0 to 0 is less or equal to 5 0 to 5 you have to draw the 40 line first step is you have to draw the these 40 and 20 line like this minus 20 line up to this 0 de uh, 0 decibels line as i have already told you that uh, the slopes always met at 0 decibels line at at one radian per second okay first to draw this minus 20 line then minus 40 line then i have to draw this minus 40 line from 0 to uh, 5 as frequency range is 0 to 5 okay simply you can draw it like this from 0 to so mark this line from 0 to 5 see here here is the 5 radian per second up to this you have to mark this line then positive 20 you have to draw from 5 to 5 to 50 5 is less or equal to uh, this omega c is less or equal to 50 so 5 to 50 you have to draw a line which is the 20 slope line see here this is your 20 slope line draw a parallel line from 5 to 50 okay then accordingly 50 to infinity you have to draw a line simply like this as 0 is the slope from 0 to infinity whatever you will draw here this is all about the magnitude plot next one is the phase angle plot so you have to look for this uh, particular chart of phase angle so this is your 0 0.1179 degree 0 0.2177 degree accordingly you have to mark the points for the phase angle so for 0 0.1 it is 179 for 0 0.2 it is 177 like that you have to mark the points all the points will just mark then draw this smooth curve smooth curve like this you will get the phase angle plot okay as in the question itself it is given uh, the gain crossover frequency is 5 radian per second okay you can see the question also see here for k value the given crossover frequency is 5 radian per second we know already uh, see here gain crossover frequency definition you know so first of all let's check the 5 5 is here this is your 1 10 is power 0 is 1 so 1 2 3 4 5 5 is here draw a line okay first draw a straight line up to this 0 decibel line okay this is your uh, gain crossover frequency but the definition of gain crossover frequency you already know where the magnitude plot is touching the zero decibel line is magnitude uh, plot touching the zero decibel line not at all okay so you have to bring you have to shift this magnitude plot up to the zero decibel line so that i can uh, tell that the gain crossover frequency is 5 radian per second at this particular point as definition itself is saying that magnitude plot should be touching at 0 decibel line so i have to shift this i have to shift this magnitude plot up to this 0 decibel line so shift simply like this draw a parallel line up to this dotted line you can draw then this point this line you have to shift like this draw the straight line okay then shift this line draw a straight line okay like this you can shift the uh, magnitude plot then you have to measure this distance this much distance you have to measure so how can i measure as you already know here uh, each line consists so each unit is four here four decibels okay so i'm getting here one two three four five three four five six seven seven point five almost so sorry uh, yes one two three four five six seven seven lines i am getting so seven into four is minus 28 when you are shifting from top to bottom you have to take negative value when you are shifting from bottom to top you have to take positive value okay so this is your shift shift is always equal to 20 log of k which is equal to i am getting here minus 28 decibels okay so i am writing here for omega gc is equal to 5 radian per second shift will be from positive uh, sorry if i am uh, if i am shifting from top to bottom then you have to take negative if i am shifting from bottom to top you have to take positive okay so uh, the required shift is minus 28 decibels you can write down 20 log k is equal to minus 28 and k is equal to by calculating this in the calci you will get 0 0.04 so this was the question you were supposed to calculate the k value so this problem is over i hope this is understood so thank you for watching my video